What's going on everyone? I'm back here with another unboxing video and today I'm going to be unboxing a lens that I picked up off of anoramacamera.com um, and the particular lens I got is the Nikon Nikkor 50mm uh, f1.8 G. <clears throat> uh, I picked it up actually on sale uh, for about $170 and I got a bundle uh, so Adorama was kind of having a bundle deal uh, for that $170. So this includes the lens, uh, brand new, uh, it's not used, as well as several other accessories as well. So it's pretty nice. So let's go ahead and open it up and see exactly what we got going on in here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the tape here. All right. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got going on in here. Okay, so uh, right here, as we can see, there are definitely uh, several little accessories that are included with this kit, or bundle rather. So first thing, we have the lens itself uh, packaged in the uh, Nikon lens uh, retail packaging, which is nice. So it comes with the box um, that it ships in, so that's nice. Uh, and then we have the accessories. So first thing we got is a filter kit uh, from Pro Optic. Uh, so it comes with three different filters uh, included. So we have a standard UV filter, uh, a circular polarizer, and a neutral density filter too uh, for reducing the amount of light that can get to your lens. So that's really nice. And it also comes with a little kit or a pouch rather in here. So if I open this up, you can see we have a little carrying case and then all three lenses, or excuse me, filters are right in here. So you can see there's the UV circular polarizer in the middle, and then the ND filter on the back side. So that's pretty cool. Um, next up, we have a software bundle uh, that includes several different photo editing software and file management systems. Uh, so we have um, Paint Shop Pro X9, uh, File Center, a Mystical Ultimate, and Video Studio, as well as Aftershot Pro. Next thing we got in here is a little strap that you connect to your lens cap. Uh, so you can keep the lens cap connected to your camera at all times. Now, the only time that this would come uh, be useful is if you don't swap lenses very often. So this isn't particularly going to be useful to me because I do swap lenses uh, very frequently, so it's not going to be a really good thing. Let's go ahead and get this box out of here. So the other thing we got here is the cleaning kit. So uh, this is a starter kit. Uh, that includes multiple different cleaning accessories uh, for your camera. So let me go ahead and open that up real quick and give you guys a look what you got in here. In the pouch, uh, we have several accessories. So first thing we have is some cleaning solution. Uh, then we have a little uh, blower brush, which is, is kind of interesting. I've never really seen something like this before. Uh, but basically it's a blower uh, that has a little uh, brush on the end of it. So you can... Uh, blow all the dust off of your screen and then we have this little brush. It's called the lipstick brush It does actually look like a, a lipstick container uh, But it what it actually is is a twisting brush that extends out and on this side We just have some utensils. You got some cotton swabs a squeegee cloth or squeegee card rather right here and then you've got some lens tissue a microfiber cloth, and then another thing that's kind of interesting is they give you three universal LCD screen protectors. All right, now moving on to the lens itself. So, like I said, it does come in the uh, original Nikon retail packaging. Um, so, basic box, let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, so uh, we have the usual accessories. So it looks like we have the little carrying bag pouch thing that you can put the lens in. Um, so that's kind of cool. Uh, then we have the lens itself in this little plastic container. Let me move that out of here. And then lastly, uh, we have the instruction booklet uh, that gives you all your warranty information and things like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the lens out of the plastic case thing that we've got here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that off here. So first thing in here is the lens hood. I'll open that in just a minute. Uh, and then we have the actual lens itself. So it is a small lens, as you can see. Um, it's really light as well. I wasn't expecting this lens to be as light as it is. 
But yeah, the size of this lens is really nice. Um, it's super compact, um, and it's something that you can leave on your camera all the time and not have to really worry about it if you want this to be your primary lens of choice. Um, but let's go ahead and take a tour of the lens itself and see what we got on here. So uh, first and foremost, we have the little focusing window uh, that allows you to see your focus distance. So the focusing range that we have here is infinity, and you can close focus all the way up to um, 1.7 feet or 0.45 meters. And then we have the type of lens we got, AFS Nikkor 50mm 1.8G. Um, then we have some controls for manual and auto focus. Uh, you have manual slash auto, so you can override the focus motor even when you're in auto mode, so that's nice to have. And then you have the focusing ring uh, to adjust the focus manually. And then we have the front element. Um, so it does also come with the front and rear lens caps as well, so that's a nice addition. Uh, but here's the front element. It's a 58 millimeter uh, thread size uh, for filters and such. Um, but yeah, it's a relatively wide opening considering it's uh, the small lens size. Uh, as you can see, the aperture in there. Uh, the aperture range goes from f1.8 all the way uh, down to f22, uh, so that's really nice. Um, and then if we take the back lens cap off, we can see the uh, back has a metal lens mount, which is a very nice addition, considering some uh, cheaper lenses do not have the metal mount. Uh, most of them have the cheap uh, plastic mount. Um, then we have the connectors and everything like that. Uh, so, and then you have the little switch here so we can see the aperture. So right there, that's wide open at f1.8, and that right there is f22. So that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at the lens hood now. Uh, so let's go ahead and get that out and see what we got here. Uh, so the way you attach this, uh, it's not a snap-on lens hood as we see with some other lenses. Uh, it's a screw-on, so you line it up and then you twist it to the left until it clicks. And then the lens hood is now attached. And there you go. So that is the full length of the lens with the hood. Um, still really small and compact. To give a quick size comparison, um, this lens is another 50 millimeter uh, 1.8 that uh, Nikon has made, um, but this one is made between the 1980s and 1990s, um, and this is the Series E model. And as you can see, uh, the newer lens is actually slightly larger than the old one, uh, but because of that, um, this one is manual focus, whereas this one is auto, so it has to be slightly larger to house uh, the autofocusing motor. So let's go ahead and mount it on my camera. All right, so here is what the lens looks like uh, attached to a DSLR. Um, I currently have it mounted on the Nikon D5500, which is actually a relatively small, compact DSLR. So it can actually complements this camera quite well. Um, you can see though, it's really small, compact, and holding it with one hand and everything is super easy to do because of the lens being as light as it is. So uh, one thing that this lens does offer is because of that wide aperture, you get really, really shallow depth of field. And what that means is you get very nice blurred out backgrounds. So if, if you're taking a picture of a portrait or something that's close to you, uh, the background is gonna be very blurred out and really, really silky smooth. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for this unboxing video. Uh, do stay tuned for some sample images as well as some sample video taken using this lens. Um, I'm going to have some low light tests uh, as well. But yeah, again, that's pretty much it. Uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below. It's greatly appreciated. Hit that thumbs up button as well. That's much appreciated. And if you guys have any questions or comments or anything of such, drop those down below and I will get back to them as soon as I can. Um, but yeah, with that all being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.